guys uh, today we're going to look at um, a, a beam um, so if we're calculating a beam or if we're going to calculate the reaction which is the left reaction and the right reaction we're going to use the law of moments so um, in this case of the beam we are having uh, two uh, distributed load so uh, this uh, is a distributed load of four kilonewtons per meter and then uh, even this one is four kilonewtons per meter so this is distributed over a distance of five meters uh, to from there from the right to uh, the left and then uh, this one is distributed three meters from the left to uh, the right yeah. so we having three uh, forces of uh, 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 point lo point loads of 10 newton and 10 newton and the last one which is uh, 12 kilonewtons reaction we have to resolve these uh, forces uh, the distributed load into a point load so to to, to resolve this uh, distribution uh, this distributed load into point load that means uh, we have to multiply the this uh, this force with uh, the distributed load with uh, the, the distance of its uh, distribute uh, the distance of uh, um, okay the the whole distance of its distributed load because if it's four kilonewtons per meter that means uh, this load or this distributed load it has a weight of four kilonewton uh, in one meter so that means one meter um, of uh, this load is uh, weighting four uh, kilonewton so but the whole distance is five meters so that means it's going to be multiplied by five that means it's going to be 20 uh, kilonewton so if it's 20 kilonewton this 20 kilonewton should be acting um, straight uh, in the middle of these five uh, meters so uh, the uh, half of five uh, meters is a uh, 2.5 even this side is going to be 2.5 and then uh, we're going to do the very same thing here in this side which is 4 kilonewtons um, of uh, 3 uh, meters so 4 multiplied by 3 is going to be um, 12 uh, meter, 12 kilonewton so uh, this 12 kilonewton will be acting in the middle of uh, 3 meters that means here yeah, is going to be 1.5 uh, and then this side is going to be 1.5 also so and then now uh, you can uh, be you now you can uh, be able to calculate uh, the reactions. Yeah. So to calculate the reaction, we're going to use uh, the law of moments. So calculate the reaction, we're going to use uh, the law of moment. So the law of moment states that at equilibrium, um, at equilibrium, that means. Uh, um, if uh, this beam has a balance uh, at equilibrium, so at equilibrium, I will say the uh, clockwise moment, clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment is equal to uh, anti-clockwise moment. So uh, the sum of a uh, anti-clockwise moment is equal to the sum of a uh, clockwise moment. So and then now we have to take a moment on both sides. So if we're taking moment uh, about RR or on the, the left support, let's say uh, taking moment at at R R O at the le right support. So if we're at the right support, we have to look at the uh, forces that are uh, clockwise and the forces that are anti-clockwise. So if you are having a um, problem of uh, in determining clockwise forces and anti-clockwise forces, it's very easy. You can place your pencil or your ruler or anything that you'll be using here. Then uh, this is, uh, for an example, this will be the whole beam. And then if this is the whole beam here, yeah, it will be RR. 
this is RL and then uh, the force is on the top. So you go, if you are taking moment at uh, RR, that means that the beam, it will be turning at RR or the pivot of the beam will be uh, at RR. So that means you can have to um, hold uh, your pencil here at RR, the side where I'm holding the pencil, it's going to be RR. And then uh, if uh, it's RR this side, then if you're looking at uh, the force RL or our left support, it will be pushing our beam upwards and then it will be turning clockwise this side. So if uh, this RR is, uh, RL is, t is pushing this side, so that means it's going to be a clockwise uh, force or yeah, it's clockwise force, and then uh, this whole um, point loads here, it will be pushing this beam downwards, and then it will be turning to anti clockwise uh, moment. So then uh, the whole f uh, forces here on the top are, clock are anti clockwise, and then R is uh, clockwise. So clockwise is RL multiplied by the whole distance of RL to RR, we're going to add 5 plus 3 plus um, 2, yeah, so that means it's going to be 10. So it's 10 will be equals to, and then um, uh, let's start with uh, 20 here. Yeah. These are anti-clockwise more uh, clockwise anti clockwise forces so if a 20 is uh, anti clockwise the distance of 20 to rr is uh, 20 multiplied by 2.5 uh, it's a distance to rr and then we're going to 12 here uh, plus 12 will be multiplied by 5 it's distance to rr so from 12 to rr is 5 here and then uh, moving forward to number tw 10 here. So I'm going to add 10 uh, plus, okay, 10 multiplied by 8. The whole distance is 3 plus 5. So it's going to be multiplied by 8 plus. Uh, here is, uh, okay, this one is uh, 12. So from 12 to uh, this point is going to be um, 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 1.5 so 5 plus 3 this one is uh, 8 12 10 11 that means it's going to be 12.5 so then 10 12 multiplied by 12.5 uh, plus the last one is a uh, 10 multiplied by the whole distance here is a uh, 14 14 so it's a uh, 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 4 so it's going to give us 14 so then uh, you have to simplify for RL so so RL is going to be equals to uh, 40. Okay, so you have to punch your calculator um, and then divide it by 10. So if you can punch your calculator, divide by 10, this one is going to give you 480 divided by 10. That means RL is going to be equals to 48 uh, kilo in your turn so that's rl and then uh, uh, now we have to complete rr so that means we're going to take moment about uh, rl so uh, moment at rl we are turning our point at rl so uh, if now now we're going to hold our pencil here so that means uh, um this uh this force here uh, which is r r r will be pushing the beam anti-clockwise in this direction so it will be pushing on this side anti-clockwise and then even 10 and 12 here it will be pushing in this side anti-clockwise 
and then uh, this point 10 12 and 20 it will be pushing the beam clockwise so that means now our clockwise forces uh, are going to be 10 uh, 12 and 20 so then uh, 4 is going to say uh, 10 our first clockwise uh, force is 10 multiplied by its distance to um, to RL which is 2 this is uh, 2 and then uh, here is 12 multiplied by its perpendicular distance to RL is 5 plus 12 multiplied by 5 um, plus uh, 20 multiplied so it's going to be 20 multiplied by its distance to uh, r, r so it's going to be 20 plus 2.5 plus um, 3 plus uh, 5 here so it's going to be uh, 7.5 yeah so it will be equals to our anti-clockwise forces let's start with rr so RR, yeah, let me write it here. So our RR multiplied by its distance to uh, RL is 10. 10 plus uh, 12 for this side are uh, also anti clockwise forces. So uh, it's going to be 12 multiplied by. 12 multiplied by its distance here yeah, is going to be 1.5 plus to one year so that means it's going to be 2.5 plus uh, 10 multiplied by its distance to rl so it's 4 3 plus 1 so that means it's going to be 10 multiplied by 4 so then we we'll simplify for r r so if we simplify for r r we are going to get our r r is going to be 16 kilo newton so this is how we are uh, how to calculate this uh, forces or uh, as to calculate um the reaction on uh, this one so tune into the next uh, video uh, following this one it will be um we're going to calculate the, the shear force or else we're going to draw the shear force diagram uh, on uh, this uh, uh, for on this uh, video or on this example so that's why i'm writing uh, these values here so that we draw this r r is 16 and then uh, this side is 48 yeah